Yes guys, GT Runner here, welcome back to episode 5 of The Roads Above Half. It's been a while, it's been a bit of a while since the last one. So yeah, I had a bit of an injury scare, sort of IT ran the plane up a bit. So, took a couple of weeks off and it's definitely going better. Still think I'm on for the half. Will it be a quick one like I've been training for? Probably not, but still I'm going to do it, going to be a good day. So yeah, today I'm going to be taking through sort of a day in the life really, day in the life of an injured runner. So yeah, sort of how I train in an injury, without necessarily running, so going to be an elliptical session and an S&C, and then sort of what I eat, what else I get up to, see it's currently world indoors this week, so a bit of that involved, going to try and do something a little bit different later on in the video involving that. So yeah, it's going to be a good one. Let's get straight into my day. Alright, so yes guys, just getting the day started with a nice morning walk since it's snowed a bit, which was quite surprising. So yeah, definitely like want to start doing this a bit more, sort of starting a day with a walk, maybe it's just like 25 minutes. I think it's nice, especially because I've not been running, you see. I'm still going outside quite a bit for like football and other stuff, but obviously I'm not running outside, I'm doing all my stuff on the elliptical, so it's nice to still get out sort of have that sort of running, you know, similar sort of experience, getting the light in and stuff. So yeah, it's also just nice to start with some exercise, even if it's nice and light. And yeah, it's not, obviously not done it as much, but I think the snow today has helped me drag, helped drag me out just to see what's actually happened. It's kind of just sleep now, because it's raining, it's literally raining right now. So yeah, just got my banana, a little, little uh, car boost for this walk and then yeah, we'll go back breakfast get ready for the rest of the day let's call sesh snc sesh and yeah all right guys so getting up in the walk breakfast can't go wrong with that the saturday morning oats yeah just simple obviously oats and milk and then a bit of honey a bit of yogurt a little bit of the old strawberry protein powder and then some raspberries as well it's yeah really nice supposed to film this at the start of it, but I just got, got straight stuck into it so yeah finishing that off now and then we'll do my session a little bit later obviously I'll explain that when it comes to it so just catching up on the darts last night UK Open good food not fair just a bite oh I have a very good quality bit of breakfast for that so yeah catch on a bit of darts Luke at the plane right now Sorry guys, nearly choked. Uh, yeah, obviously you got um, Wild and Doors on at the same time. So I watched that yesterday. I'm gonna watch it today. Probably gonna watch that a bit of it while I'm doing the elliptical. So yeah, hopefully Josh Kerr can win tonight. So yeah, really good breakfast to start the morning. Let's see what the rest of the day holds. Right guys, so we're gonna hop on the elliptical in about 20 minutes, but. Prior to that, just gonna whip up a sort of post run snack and also like sort of bulk make it so I have a bit a few portions for the for the start of the week as well. So yeah, it's like a sort of a trick pea trail mix, it's gonna be chickpeas, just obviously drain the can, put some lemon juice in for a bit of moisture and then mixing in just a little bit of smoked paprika and then we'll put those in the beloved air fryer for about 10 minutes just to make them nice and crunchy. Then I'll add some pumpkin seeds and some mixed nuts, see good sources of sort of the healthy fats like the omega-3 fatty acids, same as what you get in fish. So yeah, normally we'll put raisins in just for a bit of sweetness, but I forgot to buy raisins, so it's gonna be sort of a more savoury one for now. So yeah, it'll be a nice, nice little snack for afterwards. Good little bit, a lot of protein in there. Let's see, I'll have a bit of a carb sauce as well. So yeah, looking forward to the session and we'll see Got to make sure you get that scrounged in as well. Right, yes guys, that's that, that time in the afternoon. Saturday session, obviously. Elliptical version. I'll just sort the hair out, it's a bit... A bit dodgy. Uh, now I'm going backwards on the elliptical. It's a great start. So, yeah, just doing a 5-10 minute warm up. Then we've got 6 times 3 minutes of 90 seconds. Just bread and butter, really. Just a good way for me, sort of 
get back in some intensity because I've not really done any sort of sessions in a while. So yeah, going to be going to be a tough one. I've got um, best Premier League goals of all time to keep me entertained during the probably 30-ish minutes. So yeah, let's finish this warm up and let's get right into it. Guys, four down, two to go. It's tough, it's like just the quads are absolutely killing me right now. It's also so sweaty in here. Proper sweat box environment in this kitchen. So, yeah, just got to tough it out the last two. Let me have a nice stretch and have some nice food. So, let's go. Six minutes of work, easy, light work. Let's get to it. Lunchtime, rate the plate or Tupperware. Just a uh, you know, pretty basic gym bro meal. Some chicken, fried rice, a bit of veg. But I'm not a gym bro, so I actually season my chicken. It's like uh, herbs, paprika, paprika, what am I about? Paprika, garlic powder, all that. And then made a little like honey and garlic sort of sauce to glaze the rice in. And then a few sp cool spring rolls as well, just for a bit of extra goodness. And yeah, just like a bit of meal prep, because you know, we'll do that these days. And yeah, nice little post-session scram, still topless. Sorry for the PG content, not PG content. Got the, the gym towel covering me up, so yeah. Let's do like an Ollie Ball style uh, review. Mmm, look, the palettes, the flavours, the textures, oh. Defo scram it. I won't bore you with me eating for 20 minutes so yeah see you guys later for probably a bit of S and C
Right. Right, yes guys, so a bit of a conditioning set done, about 30 minutes, just some um, rolling out like the glutes and quads and some stretching, obviously those muscles just that sort of surround the IT band, just try and keep that nice and loose as possible and then do a little mini core circuit and tested the boat out with some plyos, obviously try not to put too much impact on the knee but got to start doing them at some point, just trying to ease myself back into it. In the meantime, watching watch the women's 3K, crazy shock race, uh, St. Pierre the American. I'll be honest, I didn't actually know who she was. She outgave good effort at the end to win. Fair play. And yeah, now we've got the men, the men's 3000. <laughs> Going to do something different. Bit of a goggle box style live reactions. So yeah, this could be interesting. So, all the boys are lined up. Let's hope for a, a good race. Got my split allegiances, obviously the Ethiopia top. We've got uh, Solomon Borrego and Wale, and also, literally, as I'm saying this, he's being shown now. Got the Oakley shades for Josh Kerr. It's going to be a good race. I think Solomon's got to be the favourite, but obviously, if it goes to a last lap burn up, can't really go argue with Josh Kerr beating obviously beating Jakob in a 1500 metre final. He's got gears to burn, but if the Ethiopians work together and take it out hard, I'm not sure if JK's got that 3k strength to match them, but we'll see. Let's get into it. Behind him, so two Americas at the front. We've got Wally in there, Josh Kerr, and then Osama Solomon at the moment. He's uh, he's dead last at the moment, just doing in the Yaka roll, sweeping up. Oh, and here comes Solomon. He's gone from first to last in about five seconds. And now, oh, and he's left them. Okay, early break. And this is what I said, if he does this, I'm not sure Josh Kerr has got the 3k pace in him to do to match it. It's actually Wale, not Solomon, who's took it out a little bit, which is interesting. Is he trying to do, sort of bring back the old Ethiopian tactics? And uh, Celeste Zahini, always on the race out for, for Ken Anita. Maybe we're seeing that, or maybe Wale, or just trying to win it for himself. A bit, a yeah. Josh Kerr settled him in just in the middle, obviously. Like He's got the kick, quickest Kerr kick by far of anyone in the field. And it's that looks like it's on at the moment, unless there's another break. Looks like it could be Josh Kerr's. Right. He's only a couple of metres off the front, in the pack. If it stays like this. Oh, oh! Oh, Josh Kerr got sort of gone on the back then. It sort of helped him, it's given him momentum, and he's pushed right up to the front. It'll be a bit of a blessing in disguise there. He's now right on the shoulder of Wale and just slipped in front of Simon Borrego. Really good move from Josh Kerr there. Anyone other than Josh Kerr winning? Although Borrego's just gone for it. No, he's not. He's just making no definitive. Oh, and another little push. It's been a bit cagey. There's loads of arms and elbows flying everywhere. Josh looking for room, wants to get out. There's Michelle, 400 to go, two laps. Oh, Michelle is rolling back. Here comes Josh Kerr, and I think this could be his. Here we go, last 200, and I said, if it comes to this, Josh Kerr will win. Put my money where my mouth is. Borrega. Borrega's living with him for now, though, but here comes Josh Kerr. Oh, yeah, and he's, he's broken. He's broken. He's going to win. Yeah, here comes JK. Played into his hands, really got strong kick, and all oh, Nagus is out kicks Borrega for third. Josh Kerr wins comfortably in the end. Got the shades on, and yeah, it it went how I said it would. If they didn't if they didn't if they didn't open up a gap on him, he'll punish you at the end. You know, it's a free 28, 29, 1500 meter man. You cannot let him be so close to you in the last 200. All right, yes, guys. Just about coming out, it's 10 o'clock, so it's bedtime. Make sure I can get at least eight hours sleep, hopefully close to nine. If I wake up tomorrow, I'll go for a easy run, technically a long run for this week. Be my longest run since coming back from injury, about six miles. Hopefully that goes well. So yeah, good day today. Had some ate well. I trained pretty well, and obviously enjoyed a good night of athletics. After my live reactions, I watched Molly Coulter in the pole vault, which was amazing. She's done so well in the last 12 months and thank God we the world record in the 400 metres, she's just cracked. 
So I'm interested to see what she can do in the, the hurdles in the summer. I feel like she could definitely break the world record in that. So yeah, very good day for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this very different sort of video. I'll see if you did, subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. And until then, keep running.